Hello everyone. For today we dug out this bit of 10 year old video from a trip to Mexico. This is a tiny stream just north of Cuatro Cienegas in Coahuila state, just about one and a half hours from Big Bend National Park across the US border. The Texas cichlid is the only cichlid species native to the USA, but of course today peacock bass, oscars, tilapia and many other cichlids have been introduced in Florida and elsewhere. The stream has a fair amount of silt, but the moment you put your head underwater, you can see that there's a pair of Texas cichlids with their young. They occupy this entire pool, guarding a huge number of fry. The fry have reached that stage where they wander around a lot and have become quite difficult for the parents to control, so both parents have to keep other fish away from them. There are not so many species here, but you will have spotted some Astianas mexicana tetras and Cyprinella zanzicara minnows, and perhaps some of the Zephophorus gordoni and the dense plants. The edges of the stream are really densely overgrown with Ludwigia rapens and forests of hydrocaudal that start along the shoreline and reach down into the water. Where the water is slow, some water lilies grow also, but this sector is just too fast moving for them, I think. You can see right away that the male takes charge of defending the territory. Now that the fry are so mobile, that is no longer a place, but just the area that the bulk of the fry are in. The female has a bright signal color typical for all Texas cichlids, and does her best to rein in the fry, but they are a bit all over the place. In the beginning, the pair was backing up, and they would go down to deeper water each time, so I had to come up for air, and then approach them again with the camera, but they handled it better each time. The male can see his reflection in the dome port, but eventually got used to it and then just pushed away other Texas cichlids that are large enough to be considered a threat. I was actually surprised that we do not really see the Astyanax go down to try and grab some of their young. The silt has settled in this pool because it is quite wide and slows down the water flow enough to produce this kind of soft bottom. At the inflow and outflow of the stream shown in the beginning of the video, as you can see in that photo, the hard white sand substrate is exposed and there is no silt at all. There are now 11 Texas cichlid species, with the others spread around northern Mexico and many of them actually in danger. The introduction of tilapia, common plecos and other fish has been a big part of that, but also the use of groundwater in these regions. Much of North America's food is grown in Mexico and large agricultural firms are draining these types of habitats or using the groundwater to irrigate their crops. For some of these cichlids that are really limited in their distribution that can be really disastrous. This species has been a mainstay in the aquarium hobby for so long, but for me it was the first time seeing them in nature. Not far from here, a bit to the northeast, is the Cuatro Cienegas National Park home to one of the most beautiful Texas cichlids, Herichthus minclae. At some point this year, we'll show that species and habitat in a video as well. Thank you for subscribing to this channel and sharing this link on your social media. As this channel continues to grow, we will try to bring you more videos of fish from all over the world.